When a taxpayer is planning on selling property, what they should first think about is whether or not they're going to be able to locate replacement property within the time frame allotted, in other words, your exchange period. If you think that there's uncertainty connected with that, you're better off selling that property towards the latter portion of the year. If I wind up selling a property December 1st, I have the added benefit of being able to hedge my exchange bets. Because if the exchange is unsuccessful, my identification period is going to carry me into the following tax year. Whenever I have an exchange that carries over into another tax year, I have the ability to take a failed or partially failed exchange, the implication of it, and put it on my following tax return. In other words, I sold in 2008. I don't have to pay the tax on my 2008 tax return. Instead, I could take that tax, put it on my 2009 tax return, which I'm not going to file until 2010. So I get a mini tax deferral even though I have a failure. If it's a successful exchange, then you win. But if it's a failed exchange, you also win because you get a mini tax deferral under most circumstances. And that's why when you're trying to structure exchanges that straddle from one year into another, you should be having a conversation with your CPA and tax attorney with regard to the tax straddling um, benefit. Boom.